this constructed landscape assignment, I selected the topic waterfront. For my local case study, I selected the Malacca River waterfront, while for my international case study, I selected the Han River waterfront in Korea. I did research on both these waterfronts on the internet and also I did interview some of the former residents of these waterfronts. The main similarity between these waterfronts are the fact that both of them are very rich in culture and history. The development of the Malacca River waterfront is that it's more intended towards tourists, while the Han River waterfront, the development is more intended towards rising the quality of life of the residents around that area. The Han River has less old buildings compared to the Malacca River waterfront. As a result, there is a vast piece of land available for modern development. Because of that, there are more modern buildings there. The Malacca River has a really long history of being colonized by foreign forces. So the architecture of the buildings there are more influenced by Western styles and colonial architecture. The Malacca River is far more narrower compared to the Han River. So as a result, the main infrastructure of the rivers, which is the bridges that connect both sides, the Malacca River is more intended towards pedestrians because they are narrower and or the Han River is more intended towards vehicles and also the cycling trails. Well, the Malacca River development started far more earlier compared to development at the Han River. So the buildings are more closer to one another, resulting in narrower cycling trails. Also, at the Han River, it's more planned. So the cycling trails are far more broad and far more well paved. The cycling trails in the Han River waterfront, they even have flyovers, especially for cyclists and roller skaters. This meant that they really looked into making the lives of cyclists easier. For the Malacca River, they did plan about monorail systems. Something amazing about the Han River waterfront is that they built parks on landfills, which is pretty interesting because landfills are really dirty, they are full of rubbish, and still, they added soil on top of the landfills and they plant trees on top of it, resulting in a small hill in the park. Something I want to say about is that if you are going to develop a waterfront, it must adhere to the natural characteristics of that place. You should learn more from how the Koreans develop their Han River waterfront. So many local waterfronts such as the Klang River, they should be more well planned. Thank you.